Hello friends, today I've got an exciting tool to share with you all designers and animators out there and that's Lottie Lab. Initially when I had a first look, I thought this is a very basic tool and it did not catch my attention. But then I saw the examples page and I saw the complex animations that have been built using this and it really made me curious to give this tool a try. And here I am sharing this tool with you all. This tool truly simplifies the whole process of creating beautiful animations and bringing it to life on websites and your apps. So without any further ado, let's dive right onto my screen and see what Lottie Lab has to offer. So if you already have experience creating Lottie JSON animation, then you might know the tedious process of having to use After Effects and other plugins to get this done. But Lottie Lab makes this whole process a piece of cake. Before I get started with a simple tutorial, let me quickly introduce you to the simple and easy interface of Lottie Lab. So right now I'm on the official website of Lottie Lab and as you can see, they are sharing some examples that I've actually made using their tool. And here you have the interface and the whole website, right? So I'll just skip this part. Just go to sign up, create your login using Google. You can just sign up. It's easy and free. So once you sign up and you enter on their dashboard, it looks something like this. So this is a fresh new dashboard. They have some tutorials to help you get started. And let me just say create a new Lottie file. And once you click on that, you will be taken to the interface where you actually start creating your animations. So this is the interface on the left, like any other design tool, you have your layers on the right, you have the properties related to it. And at the bottom, you have the timeline to animate, right? So right now it's in the design mode. And once you want to start animating, you just uh, toggle this and it goes into the animate mode, right? And you can create your designs here itself, or you can, uh, you know, import things from Figma, which is an amazing feature. So here you can jump to your dashboard. You have different tools, your pen tool, importing assets and the layers itself, right? So that's pretty much about the interface. So as I mentioned, the best feature I love about Lottie Lab is the import from Figma. Actually, it's not about the feature, but how seamless they have made this process to import the designs without any distortion, the whole Figma uh, illustration or your designs get imported into Lottie Lab. It's very seamless. And let me just show you a quick example of that. And then we can jump into animating something, right? Something very simple. So for that, I'm going to jump into Figma and I'll, I'll just pick uh, one example from the community tab itself. So let me just try some illustration scene. So let's see what comes up. So here we have a lot of things. So let me try to pick something that's complex, right? So this one looks good. So I'll just click on it. It's a beautiful illustration of a scene, right? So I'll just say open in Figma. And as you can see, I can select each and every layer, right? It's very well organized. So all you have to do is go to plugins and in the plugins tab, just search for Lottie Lab. And the first one that you see here, just click on it and it opens up a small window. So you just have to select the frame or the design that you want to export. So I'll just click on this and it automatically recognized it. I can say open in Lottie Lab since you already signed it, it'll directly open a project with this one selected. Or you can also use the copy feature. So I'll just click on copy. Right now it's copied. I'll go back to Chrome where Lottie Lab is uh, opened up. And here I'll just delete this and I'll say Control V or Command V. And there you go. Everything got imported so seamlessly. No distortions. Every mask layer is as it is. And all the grouping is as it is. So this is the best part. And I love how seamlessly it got imported into the tool. So let's quickly animate this and see how it works, right? So right now me, I'll try to animate the maybe like a sunrise or a sunset. So let's try a sunrise. So for that, we have different layers here. So probably I can move this to the top. So this one is, let's rename these, right? So this one, maybe we'll call it circle one, circle two, C2, C3, and C4. So renaming your layers really makes it easy once you try to animate it. So now we have our layers and everything is set. So just turn on the animate mode and that opens up your timeline, right? And now just select the layers that you want to animate. So I'll move the timeline to the first and I'll probably move all these layers to the bottom, right? So I'm bringing down the circles one by one, just moving it to the bottom right here. And there you go. We have moved everything to the bottom. So as the time increases, probably I want to get these layers one by one outside. So at 0.5 seconds, I'm going to move the circle one. That is actually a sun. So I'll move it to this position and then I'll move it to 0.6 seconds, another keyframe, and I'll move it slightly to the top bringing it to the center and maybe the next one can be at 0.8 seconds so that it has a slow effect. I'm just using my arrow keys. You can also drag it and bring it up and probably at one second, I'm going to move the last one here. So that is a C4 circle and bringing it to the top. So there you go. We have done uh, all these keyframes right here and uh, probably I'll move the duration of the complete animation to one second. Right now it's three seconds. I'll bring it to one second. 
And now let's play it and see how it works, right? There you go. So that looks good, right? It's, it was so easy, right? And also you can uh, use the curves here. So animation curves. So right now, as you can see, this is linear curve. I can change this to more natural and these I can probably move it to slow down and you can also use your own curve here as well, right? So I'm just changing all these to slow down and now let's see how that looks. That looks smooth, right? So you can do all these animations and also there are birds right here. If you want to animate this, I can also do that as well. So you're in the animating mode right now. I'm gonna probably set the first angle to this or the first position to this and maybe at one second, I can move it or bring it into the frame. And it's not just straight paths, right? You can select the path right here and you know, add a curve to it as well. So right now it's going in a curve. You can adjust your curves as well. So in what path you wanted to animate. And if I select play, you can see the animations in progress. So that's a simple animation right there. And the best part is you don't need Figma as well to create these animations, right? So for that, I'm just gonna start a new Lottie file right here. And let's see what we can do without even using Figma, right? So we have a new file open up here and we have your shape tool here right here. So I can add in a shape. So this is going to be a background and I can use the pen tool to create shapes as well. So right now I'm just trying to create a line right here uh, and connected both of them. So I'm just going to add a point at the center and move it to the top. So what I'm trying to do here is probably I'm just going to create an eye here and the eye we can animate it and just double click on these and it'll get converted into these curves. So right now we have a shape right here. This is, I'm going to call it as a background and this will be your eye. So going back and I'm going to add some stroke to it and probably make this rounded. Okay. So that looks good. I'm just going to add a little more stroke. Okay. That looks good to me. And now I can add a fill to it so that it looks like our eye with a white fill. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm going to add a, a circle which could be our eyeball. So this should actually be black. That looks good. We're just slightly going to, you know, change the height of it. That looks good to me. Okay, so we have our eyeball. Probably I just want to, you know, have a blinking eye or something. So let's try that animation right here. So we have our eye. We have this is going to be our eyeball. And probably once you blink your eye, you want this to get masked. So for that reason, I'm going to create a duplicate of this. And this could be our eye mask or something. Just calling it a mask. Okay. And we could, you know, just mask these layers. So right now I've masked it. And if you see, if I do this or reduce the height of it, it's getting masked, right? So that could be used to, you know, animate it. So a basic structure is ready now. Let's try to animate this. I'm going to turn on the animate mode right here and I'm going to change the duration to one second for the animation. So I add the first, this looks good. So probably in three seconds, I want to blink my eye here. So for that, I'm going to select the eye mask here, go to the pen tool. So if I don't use the pen tool, I would probably have to, you know, do it like this and that doesn't look right, right? So I just want to, you know, change the curve of this path right here. So for that reason, I'm going to select the pen tool, turn on the animate mode and bring this to the bottom. So that looks like a blinking eye. And along with this, I also need to bring the eye right here to the same dimensions. So once again, I'm going to select the pen tool, turn on the animation for the eye and bring this to the bottom. So that's happening at 0.3 and probably at 0.6. Okay, probably at 0.6, I want this eye to open back. So I'm just going to bring it to the top right here. That looks good. I need to do the same for the eye mask as well. So for that, I'm going to turn on the animate mode, bring the eye mask back to this position. So there you go. We have the animation of the eye blinking and opening along with this, you know, you could also animate the eyeball moving left and right. So that also might look good. So I'm just going to select the eyeball right here with the animating mode turned on. Probably I can slightly to the right or to the left. And at this case, I can move it back here. Okay. So let's try this as an action. I'm going to hit the play button. There you go, guys. You have this animating eye and you can uh, select all of these, you know, group it. I'm going to just group it. Let me just turn off the animating mode right here and probably I can just reduce it in size and let's, you know, try to duplicate it like this and see if it works. So I have two eyes right here and if I play, there you go. I just have to add some easing and this will look pretty smooth, right? 
So once you have your animation ready, the next process of exporting it is also very seamless. All you have to do is just an export right here and you have all the different formats that you can publish it in, right? So you can optimize and publish it with a very small file size right here. So generally a normal Lottie file would be 56 KB, but Lottie Lab has created this new feature of optimizing and publishing it. As you can see, this 56 KB file would be a very minimal 5.7 KB and that adds very minimal load to your website or app by loading. So that's really good. And you can embed it on all these different things. You just have to select which platform you're working on. Probably I'm working on Framer, just select it and it gives you the complete instruction step by step how you have to embed it along with the code that you want to use, right? So if it is HTML, you can see that it has included the script and also the code where you can just copy and paste it wherever you want. And along with that, you also have options of exporting it as a GIF if you want a GIF file or a GIF file. And then you also have MP4 format. You can upload it and get an MP4 format rendered. So you can see the download file size right here along with the properties if you want to you know repeat it increase the resolution all that is there. and there's also a feature called live link which they have very recently introduced uh, using this feature you can you know export this animation and uh, put it on your website and let's say in future after a month you have to make some changes on it you just have to come back to this file make your changes and publish it again and it'll get reflected right on your web live website as well right so the whole process of creating and you know publishing it and managing lotte lab has made this whole process a piece of cake and it is very seamless right and there you have it a simple straightforward way to animate your designs without the complexities of after effects and all thanks to lottie lab so i'm pretty sure this made you really curious to try out the tool so the link for the tool is there in the description go ahead and give it a try and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video with more such tools